Hey guys, how's it going? It's that nerd Ryan here, and I messed up. <laughs> so I forgot about the whole box thing when I got this figure. I just got so excited that I uh, opened it without even thinking. But uh, yeah, here's a uh, Jolt. He looked really nice in the box. That's all I'll say. Um, I don't remember what the back piece said, but yeah, um, he is a Chevy Vault. And I was just so excited to get this figure because I I got the original one back in the Shadow Skids Mudflap days. Um, and now I'm just happy to have them back in the family. So let's start transforming them, I guess, without saying. The wheels are great. Uh, the coloring is great. The sculpt of the Chevy is great. And then there's some translucent pl pl plastic on here, which is great. So let's transform it. It's been a while since I did a Transformers review now that I think about it. Um, so I'm probably going to try to talk you guys through it, but I mean, it's that nerd Ryan is more about the other videos that really we released than Transformers toy reviews like Shadow Skid's Mudflap was. Um, there we go. And... Then you want to separate the trunk right here, which is a little hard. See, what, what kind of scares me with Transformers is Hasbro doesn't like to use the most expensive plastic, so sometimes their stuff is just crackable. We've had that happen on here with um, <clears throat> a, I think it was Grapple. We've had that happen. So yeah, it's kind of nerve-wracking transforming some of these figures just for the fact that uh, you could accidentally break them, which has always been an issue. But yeah, so you get that's how you get the bottom done. Then for the arms, you just want to bring this around. And then, I'm trying to remember. There we go. Clamp that. Bring that around and clamp that, and there you have it, I think. Oh wait, no, here we go. Now there you have it. There's Jolt for you. And it looks pretty nice. So let's do some uh, measurements and articulation. The sculpt, I will say, for this, the sculpt is pretty good. I am kind of weirded out by the back. Usually these studio series are pretty good, but it's kind of just, it's got a little extra kibble than usual. But uh, yeah, and then 360 obviously you saw the back already. But let's measure him. He is at five inches. So pretty average size for a studio series transformer. Uh, head can go back and forth. Arms can rotate and hands can kind of move. We'll check out the hands in a little bit. And then the torso can rotate 360 and his feet can of course move as well. So let's talk about the hands. So you can actually remove the f one of the fingers, I guess you can't really say it's a thumb, and then extend out with his weapons, which is his electric sh shockers, where he can, you know, he merges Optimus and Mega, uh, Optimus and Jetfire, the only thing that he ever does in the movie. But, uh, yeah. So, there he is with that. All in all, pretty cool figure. I'm excited to get Jolt. Um, I officially give him a 8 out of 10. Very nice. And I enjoy him. So make sure you guys leave a like, comment, subscribe, ring that bell, follow me on all my social media down below. And make sure you guys have a wonderful day. It's That Nerd Ryan signing off.